Hi, Praise family. This is Tamara Richards bringing to you Friday's edition of Highest Praise Chronicles. I am outside this crisp fall night. I think it's beautiful. It's it's a little chilly, but it's not freezing. It's comfortable in my coat here and I wanted to do this from outside and to enjoy the crisp air and to share with you this evening this evening's chronicles is entitled things not seen things not seen let us bow our heads for prayer Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for bringing us through another week safely. We seek your blessings. We await your kind hands and your goodness this evening. We thank you for all that you do for us, for the ways in which you take care of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Things not seen. A few weeks ago, our family went on a hike to a waterfall with another family. This hike was, it was mostly downhill and the waterfall was so beautiful it was well worth it we were able to stand on a pinnacle and view the waters down below we we're able to have a little picnic and just enjoy god's beautiful creation and enjoy the beauty of nature <laughs> of course having hiked downhill when it came time to leave we had to hike uphill and it proved a little bit tough on some of the journey, but we were able to make it. And my friend was sharing with me her experience, which I asked her permission to use in, in a future sharing, that um, a few weeks ago, they had visited a church and it's a few people had planned a hike and it was a hike to a waterfall and the description was that it was so beautiful but it was just a little ways maybe 15 minutes and they were walking 15 minutes which turned to 30 minutes which turned to 45 minutes which turned to two hours and they still had not found this waterfall of course they had not been prepared to walk such a long distance and so they were getting weary and tired and were discussing just giving up and making the journey back of course they'd spent a lot of time and a lot of energy and had come so far somehow there were some young people who were with them and those young people decided that they were going to run ahead all this time that you know they they could these young people decided that they they were going to run ahead and see see if they could locate this waterfall um and they could they reported that they were hearing the waterfall but they were not seeing it Anyway, as they decided, no, finally they decided that they were, they, they, they were giving up, they were done, and they were going to um, turn back and make their, their way back to where they had come from. And just as they made that decision, they, they heard a shout, and the young people came running and said, we found it, we found it. And what a delight it was when they hustled to that waterfall and the wonderful view and the beauty of it 
and I told my friend that I would use this story because there's so many object lessons to be gained from it. You know, oftentimes in life, we may have dreams, we may be praying for others, we may be working on something and we can't see our way. We might have a little inkling that we are approaching the destination, we are approaching that waterfall, whatever we want to define our waterfall is, but we can't see it and so we give up. And the little lesson from that story tonight is never give up, never give up unless you have a distinct you have distinct instructions from God to abandon that way never give up 2nd Corinthians 4 verses 16 to 18 tell us for our light affliction which is but for a moment worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So, never give up. Remember now that these people were ready to turn back because they could not see this waterfall they had heard that it was in the vicinity somehow they could hear it but it was a while before they located it and they had been walking for over two hours they were weary they were tired and they made the decision to turn back and if those young people had not rushed ahead like five minutes ahead they would have wasted all that energy all that time to turn back without seeing that which they had set out to see that beautiful waterfall that light affliction that they suffered was well worth what they ended up seeing don't worry about the things that you know are seen right the temporal things that you go through that you can see think about the things which you don't see but you know that exist and that you're working towards you might not be able to see your way now but think about it the light afflictions that you go through now are well worth the eternal value of the lessons that you're gaining and the eternal value of the prize. So this little story has both temporal meaning as well as eternal meaning. The end prize for the struggle of life is eternal life. The end prize for the temporal struggle is that which you are working towards, which you are hoping to gain, which sometimes is fleeting and you're not able to find your way. You're not able to see that thing that you know that it's, that's in the distance. You're hearing the, the, the crashing sound of the waterfall crashing over the rocks, but you can't see it. You know it's there. Don't give up on your journey too soon. It might be too soon that you're planning to give up. So hang in there keep moving keep walking towards the sound of your waterfall so that you can fulfill your dreams and so that you can reach your ultimate destination thank you for having joined me this evening for friday's edition of highest praise chronicles focus sometimes we have to think about the things that are not seen and block out the things that which we see which are the obstacles in our way it's so easy to see the obstacles but with God we focus on the things that have a more eternal weight of glory let us pray Heavenly Father we're very grateful to you because you tell us not to be dismayed 
whatever comes our way, you will take care of us. You tell us that you would uphold us with your righteous right hand and that you are always with us. And so we do not need to fear the things that are ahead. We do not need to fear because of the things that we see that block out the things that we don't yet see. So help us, give us eternal eyesight so that we can see the things that are important for us to see. Give us that faith and that trust so that we never give up, never give up on our dreams, never give up on this journey towards eternal life. Thank you for your love, your care, and your protection towards us. Give us a blessed Sabbath day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, thank you for having joined me for Friday's edition of Highest Praise Chronicles. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sabbath. Blessings. <laughs>